Every week, thousands of races take place around the world, and most of them would not exist without the help of volunteers. I don't volunteer nearly enough, but recently I went to help out at the Centurion Autumn 100, a race I did with my wife Victoria last year. After a team bonding meal, we arrived on site at 4pm. The logistics van was already there with the staff unloading equipment and setting up the gazebos. We have a crack setup team. I've just arrived, they've already got the tent up, but it hasn't blown away yet. I am, not, I am not running after it if it blows down the ridgeway there. One of the benefits of volunteering with Centurion is that if you give up enough of your time, you are able to claim a free place in an event of your choosing the following year. So by volunteering at the Autumn 100 for 10 hours in 2024, I plan to run the race for free in 2025. <laughs> the Chain Hill checkpoint is the turnaround on leg 3 of the Autumn 100 race. When they get to us, runners will have covered 100 kilometres. Once the gazebos were up, it was time to prepare the food. So we've officially got all the food out, now we just need to prepare it, which is why I've got blue gloves on. Control it. Quality uh, control. Quality control. Very oh yes, we definitely hard. need to taste some. Just, you know, say... I, I think I should taste a lot of the chocolate. Yeah, and also I would particularly say the white chocolate. It's very nice. I have already tasted a few bars, but you can never be too sure. <laughs> So yeah, do make sure you do that. What are you doing, Ray? <laughs> shaking the tailwind. <laughs> is that, is that I'm the, shaking the tailwind. <laughs> Steph is cutting watermelon. Danielle is eating the crisps. Oh, no, no, she's no. Sorry, she's putting crisps out. I'm just about to uh, make marmite sandwiches, and if we've got some sliced cheese, marmite and cheese sandwiches. We do have some. And, I, and I'm making they, tea. Yeah. Are you making tea? <laughs> tea? Tea for us? Well, tea. Tea, tea, tea in general. Just tea. With most of the initial preparation done, there was a little downtime while we waited for the first runners to arrive. High up on the ridgeway, it's worth taking in the view, overlooking the Vale of White Horse and across to the town of Wantage, birthplace of Alfred the Great. Very beautiful, but it can get windy. With the sun setting behind me, I'm just walking out on the Ridgeway path now to meet the lead runner in the A100 who is coming in to our aid station. I'm going to get his order for food or drinks so that it's ready for him when he gets there. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, 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 very well. Now, uh, what do you want? What do you think you're going to need? Uh, just some water probably, maybe a little tailwind. Tailwind? Do you want any food? I might have a little, there's some cheese sandwiches that are pretty we've good. We've got, we've got Marmite sandwiches, peanut butter sandwiches, or we can make you, I can get them to make you cheese sandwich I've quick. Got, I've got food in my bag too, so I'll just take a look. Whatever looks delicious, I'll grab. <laughs> where are you from? Uh, the state, Kansas City is where I'm born and raised. Nice one. I'm living in London. Oh, you're living in London, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, I might just... Watermelon sounds delicious. Pineapple, nuts, crisps. Chocolate. Magic chocolate. Yeah. Crisps, sweets. Oh, thanks. Potatoes. So this is Brady from uh, Kansas City, <laughs> living in London. <laughs> it's happening. Nick. Dollar, you know where that is. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Thank you. Well done. You guys have a long slot, don't you guys have a long night? Not as long as you. Well done. Second runner in the A100 just coming up to the monument here and then onto the aid station. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, do you know what you want from the aid station? Uh, yep. Tell me. Uh, crisps, couple of gels. Berry, yeah. Caramel, brownies, what about there Right, so this is Daniel who's in second place at the turnaround on the third leg. Anything else? You got another? You don't want berry, chocolate, caramel, coffee. So this is 63 miles we're at now. You got another bottle for water? In general, you'll notice runners at the sharp end spend very little time at the checkpoints. Their turnaround is usually pretty quick. However, Dan here, in second place, fancied a brief sit-down. 
Okay, this is unheard of for a second place run. He's having a sit down. <laughs> what the stuff. hell's going on? Enjoy my coat. <laughs> Good fever. If you can get to this aid station before it goes dark, you are doing very well indeed on the A100. Well done, buddy. Good job, take care. Runner number three, third place runner in the A100, just coming in now to the aid station. I'm just gonna check what they want and message it through. Hi, bud. How you doing? Hi, yeah. How you doing? Good, thanks. What do you need? Uh, just some water in this one, please. Is that all? You need any, any food? I'm good, thank you. Okay, all right, I'll let you go. I used our team WhatsApp group to message Dom's requests back so they could prep what he needed in advance. Right, so we've had Brady in first place. We've had Daniel in second. This is Dominic in third. How's it going? Are you feeling I'm all right? I'm feeling very lazy. No, no, Look, no, they're no, getting no, my no, head no, to no, it. No, no, no. That's all right. That's what we're here for, yeah. It's in the main pouch, oh, yeah, in a white go. bag. It's just the final saw, the main one can reach it. You guys are brilliant. Yeah, Thank well, you. You're brilliant, mate. Like, yeah. Sure, you don't want to take any food, start with gel, kind of thing. Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. Well done. Right, this is our lead lady coming in here. Do you need us to get your head torch out for you? It's right here. Uh, you're just right? being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a classic way to sprain an ankle. Like an absolute shit. Gels. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, you're right. You sure you don't want any fruit, crisps, gels, anything? Nuts, gels, anything? You okay? Well, I'd Thank any you very much. Um, oh yeah, that'd be handy. Do you need that you. other one filled up? Uh, no, that one's yeah, got some okay. still. Uh, that one's full. That one's empty. That one's empty. Beautiful. Thanks so much, guys. You, you feeling good? Yeah. You looking good? You looking all right? Yeah. Thank you, go. you guys. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good. Right. Warm enough. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good stuff. Yep. Oh, well Enjoy. Right, so that was Hannah who snuck up on us because she didn't have her head torch on. We're looking looking for head torches now, and she she's uh, like a lot of us, just couldn't be bothered to get it out of her bag. Uh, but she's on her way now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, Matt. Well done, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Jared. Fudge bars, cookies, Jamaica ginger cake. Oh. Nice. Wow, Come on, guys. We spent hours buying this stuff in Tesco. Little by little, more runners arrived, took what they needed and left. Although one or two were held up a little longer. Sure. Uh, so uh, every so often we have to check uh, people's kit to make sure they've got the right stuff. What's your name? Ammon. So we've just checked Ammon's kit and he's all sorted. He's good. He's a slammer. And he is a slammer. So he's done three 100s this year so far. <laughs> And he is about 100k into this one, so he's definitely going to finish this one. He's got it. We know he has. In all, we carried out five random kit checks. Right, there's Nick. How's Nick going? Doing all right with beer. Yeah, you, you didn't. You haven't run off like a crazy man this time. No, but I'm thinking about with 30th or something like that. You're not. Yeah, I mean, you're doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. like, Joe you know, cruising it. Cruising it, but not cruising like a crazy it. man. You're not second, not so. which is, you know, a, a, that's a good thing, I think. Yeah. It means you're more likely to actually finish. I need listening to your advice. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Good. Just, uh, uh, what did you push. think of that section? There's lots of nice downhills on the way back. The, oh, yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's 6K of downhill. Once you get past East Isley, the next one. We just need to be careful with the uh, slippy bits. Yeah, a bit of rutted ground as well, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, right, all right. I think, yeah, doing, doing good. How you doing? Yeah. Good, good. What do you need? I'm just looking, I don't know. Just browsing. Do you totally sound sleep. like you're in a shop. <laughs> just browsing. Can I get you anything? No, I'm just looking, thank you. <laughs> Volunteering at a checkpoint like this requires you to wear multiple hats. You're a chef, a waiter, a personal assistant, medical triage, and more often than not, a counsellor and motivational coach. Sometimes you are the reason a runner makes it to the finish, and sometimes you're the one who has to tell them to stop. Um, what's he got? Tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Can I take um, just black tea? Yeah, please. Right, how's it been going, Dom? 
Um, this section one was actually better than the number two. Leg two was just muddy. Right, I've gone 50, by the time we got to the end of leg two, we've done 50 miles in a straight line and two miles sideways. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, at least it's dry on the Ridgeway then. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely better. Yeah. Um, you get it with Danny. We've had a, a good session, haven't we? It's about half past midnight really cold and windy up here now i'm in the van i'm just making coffee for a couple of the uh, volunteers inside we've got about 30 runners left to come into the aid station here at chain hill we close here at 2 30 a.m and it is now one o'clock in the morning right mike how's it going yeah i'm all right yeah are we going to finish the slam we are yeah I've already been to Tunda City. Oh. <laughs> it's the, the chicken, the chicken soup didn't stay down. The chicken soup didn't stay down. Uh, uh, I'm bloody glad I didn't have the cheesy beans. That would have been awful. Nobody wants cheesy beans and chicken soup. By the way, if you're finding this video interesting or useful, then please do consider subscribing to the Film My Run YouTube channel. Good luck, Mike. Uh, how long have you had a nosebleed for? In total, three and a half hours. And what have you now got up your nose? A tampon. No, no the worries. first tampon I've ever used on the sun. <laughs> We're improvising, Stephen. We're yeah. improvising. <laughs> Quality work. Yeah. Quality work. What do you need? Um, I was told there's a uh, lasagna. I'm afraid there is a lasagna, but I can. Can I offer you a minestrone soup? Mushroom soup? I'll have to compromise, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go with this. There is vodka. There is vodka. There's yeah, beer. I've, I've heard that, but yeah. I think I'm going to need to give it a skip. Yeah. <laughs> I need to navigate back to Goring. <laughs> Just follow the size. Of You've already been. You seem to go back the way you came. Yeah, you three times already. You know, but, <laughs> you know, sleep deprivation is a lot like being drunk. Yeah. I mean, very much so. You may as well just go for it. <laughs> There is a rumour going around that you guys have been uh, looking at the vodka and coke. As the night wore on, we were seeing more and more runners coming in freezing cold from the biting wind on the ridgeway. We were wrapping people in blankets and sleeping bags in an attempt to raise their core temperature. Unfortunately, though, we did have one or two runners drop out of the race at Chain Hill. That's how are you feeling? Uh, cold. Well, and sleepy. You're going to make it to the end? Yes, she is. I hope so. Uh, we have a slammer here, so this is um, possibly our final runner through uh, tonight. It's nearly two o'clock, just after two o'clock, um, but she's done three 100 milers this year, and this is the fourth one. So we need to get you to the end, don't yep. we? Indeed. I'm going to get you there. I'm not sure what this the right one might be. Okay. I'm not feeling. Drink some more coffee and then we can have a look, okay? Yeah. Right, Get this finished, Lisa. Well done, guys. Get okay, well done. Hello. Get it done. Excellent job. You are awesome. Right. Come on, you got this. Go on. Well done. Get that back off. You're amazing. Well done. Go, 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 go. 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 Cut-off time at our checkpoint was 2.30 a.m. Thankfully, all runners still in the race made it to us before then, and when the logistics van arrived, we knew it was time to pack up and get ourselves to bed. Of course, a similar scenario was playing out across all the other checkpoints in the race. Volunteers giving up their time to help runners achieve their dreams. So get your name on that volunteer roster and let me know in the comments where you'll be helping out next year. Well done, everybody. The gazebo's down, the tables are down, the food's away. And I've just got to hand my high-vis jacket in, that's it. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Safe travels back. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And that is it, what a night. It's three o'clock in the morning. We finished at Chain Hill Aid Station on the A100. It's time for me to get some sleep, so I'm going to go and drive down to Goring, I think, pop into the village hall there, see how everyone's getting on, uh, because the race is not over. The race doesn't finish uh, for another few hours yet, but I'll uh, go down to Goring and uh, pop into the village hall and then uh, get some sleep before driving home.
So thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see another volunteering video, uh, click this link just here. Uh, that is my volunteering video from the Cape Wrath Ultra last year. I'll see you again on the start line next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.